and listen to kids. Let me tell you a story. A scientist caught a monkey from the wild and put it in a cage which was made of barbed wire which was really strong. At first, the monkey tried to escape the cage but it got hurt every time it hit the edge of the fray. Finally, the monkey just stood there in the center defeated. Later, the scientist changed this cage into an easy broken cage with a similar appearance. But the monkey still did not move and didn't try to escape the cage. Sometimes I feel just like this monkey. Let me tell you a day of mine. It's Christmas. Christmas. I have done all the necessary homework and I just want to go out and play with my friends. So I asked my parents. But they said no. I want to please them. So I cleaned my room and I swept the floors. But still they denied. So I fed the kitten, I cleaned the dishes and I even made breakfast. But still no was their response. So finally, I had to agree to do extra homework for 3 hours till 7 pm and it was time for dinner. My father suggested that we go out and eat. After eating, I miss my friends so much, I just wanted to message my friends. But my parents had other ideas. They wanted to take me to a science show which I wasn't even interested at. Finally, it was time to sleep and my day was over. I was very exhausted and I felt like all my ideas will be rejected and my day was ruined by my parents. These are a typical type of no parents. The always no parents make kids passive. Passive kids will let their parents do everything for them because they think that their parents won't allow them to do anything that they want and would very badly try to convince their parents for one simple thing. But actually, executive function or EF for short is the right way to learn. It is an important concept inside psychology and it shows the way to achieve goals. It includes letting kids make plans by themselves, make decisions by themselves, use knowledge well and to stop unwanted thinking, feelings and actions and then shift from one task to another. Parents should encourage their kids to perform executive functioning. For example, kids need to learn from their own failures. Even if a parent tells to a child that touching something hot is dangerous and if the child says they understand, I know they don't. So only when the child touches something hot is when they realize what their parents actually meant. So the child needs to learn from their own failures and not their parents. The parents who don't allow their child to learn from their own failures are known as snowplow parents. These parents create obstacles and ensure there is only one single path for their child to success. According to the American College Health Association, a survey was conducted on 297 college students who have snowplow parents. These parents solve their kids' problem when they are young but actually create bigger problems for them in the future. Let's see the result of their parenting. 84.3% of students were very overwhelmed. 60.5% felt very lonely, 57% felt very sad, 51.3% experienced anxiety and 8% even attempted suicide. So my suggestion for the future is that parents, if you do more than just suggesting your ideas, it would be a lot more easier for us and as students, we have to share our opinions on why we want to do this and how we plan to achieve this goal. Parents, we need you when we are feeling down, when we feel and when we are in trouble. It is your encouragement that helps us conquer difficulties by ourselves. So please, trust us. If you do more than just suggesting your ideas, it will be a lot more difficult for us because your decisions might not be the same as ours. Sometimes being different is an advantage and having a strong personality is not a bad thing. Kids have their own life, so why not just give us a chance? Thank you.